The top quark, also known as the T-quark or truth quark, is the most massive of all observed elementary particles. Like all quarks, the top quark is an elementary fermion with spin one-half and experiences all four fundamental interactions, gravitation, electromagnetism, weak interactions, and strong interactions. It has an electric charge of plus two-thirds e. It has a massive mass of 173.34 plus or minus 0.27 plus or minus 0.717000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
but the general expectation was that the sixth quark would soon be found. However, it took another 18 years before the existence of the top was confirmed. Early searches for the top quark at SLAC and DESY came up empty-handed. When, in the early 80s, the superproton synchrotron at CERN discovered the W boson and the Z boson, it was again felt that the discovery of the top was imminent. As the SPS gained competition from the Tevatron at Fermilab there was still no sign of the missing particle, and it was announced by the group at CERN that the top mass must be at least 7001410000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
The Large Hadron Collider at CERN became the only accelerator that generates a beam of sufficient energy to produce top quarks. With a center of mass energy of 7 TeV, there are multiple processes that can lead to the production of a top quark. The most common is production of a top anti-top pair via strong interactions. In a collision, a highly energetic gluon is created, which subsequently decays into a top and anti-top. This process was responsible for the majority of the top events at Tevatron and was the process observed when the top was first discovered in 1995. It is also possible to produce pairs of top anti-top through the decay of an intermediate photon or Z boson. However, these processes are predicted to be much rarer and have a virtually identical experimental signature in a hadron collider like Tevatron. A distinctly different process is the production of single tops via weak interaction. This can happen in two ways. Either an intermediate W boson decays into a top and anti-bottom quark or a bottom quark transforms to top quark by exchanging a W boson with an up or down quark. The first evidence for these processes was published by the DO collaboration in December 2006, and in March 2009 the CDF and DO collaborations released twin papers with the definitive observation of these processes. The main significance of measuring these production processes is that their frequency is directly proportional to the VTB2 component of the CKM matrix decay. Because of its enormous mass, the top quark is extremely short-lived with a predicted lifetime of only 6975500000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
The dynamics of Yukawa couplings are determined by the renormalization group equation. One of the prevailing views in particle physics is that the size of the top quark Yukawa coupling is determined by the renormalization group, leading to the quasi infrared fixed point. The Yukawa couplings of the up, down, charm, strange, and bottom quarks are hypothesized to have small values at the extremely high energy scale of grand unification, 1015 GeV. They increase in value at lower energy scales, at which the quark masses are generated by the Higgs. The slight growth is due to corrections from the QCD coupling. The corrections from the Yukawa couplings are negligible for the lower mass quarks. If, however, a quark Yukawa coupling has a large value at very high energies, its Yukawa corrections will evolve and cancel against the QCD corrections. This is known as an infrared fixed point. No matter what the initial starting value of the coupling is, if it is sufficiently large it will reach this fixed point value. The corresponding quark mass is then predicted. The top quark Yukawa coupling lies very near the infrared fixed point of the standard model. The renormalization group equation is where G3 is the color gauge coupling, G2 is the weak isospin gauge coupling, and G1 is the weak hypercharge gauge coupling. This equation describes how the Yukawa coupling changes with energy scale mu. Solutions to this equation for large initial values yt cause the right-hand side of the equation to quickly approach zero, locking yt to the QCD coupling G3. The value of the fixed point is fairly precisely determined in the standard model, leading to a top quark mass of 230 GeV. However, if there is more than one Higgs doublet, the mass value will be reduced by Higgs mixing angle effects in an unpredicted way. In the minimal supersymmetric extension of the standard model, there are two Higgs doublets and the renormalization group equation for the top quark Yukawa coupling is slightly modified, where YB is the bottom quark Yukawa coupling. This leads to a fixed point where the top mass is smaller, 170 to 200 GeV. The uncertainty in this prediction arises because the bottom quark Yukawa coupling can be amplified in the MSSM. Some theorists believe this is supporting evidence for the MSSM. The quasi-infrared fixed point has subsequently formed the basis of top quark condensation theories of electroweak symmetry breaking in which the Higgs boson is composite at extremely short distance scales composed of a pair of top and anti-top quarks.